the best. Yeah. I think uh, the things we talked about the most are you know, between the games, the travel, trying to sleep at night, um, just what you feel after every game. Obviously, the narrative of the series changes from game to game, just dealing with all that. Um, but it's, 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 everyone's been really positive and just think it's, it's the best. Do you feel calm right now? When do you think that adrenaline will hit you? I don't know. I feel a little sick right now. I'm oh. sorry. I've been in the weather the last couple of days. Um, but, I mean, for sure, I mean, I think we're all anxious. We can be these long layoffs in between series and, um, you know, you have nothing, nothing to do but sit around and think, you know. So, uh, but I think we're we're really excited. We're glad that it's finally here. And, uh, we get this going tomorrow. As a fan, watching the past two years, these guys going after any of this do you watch this series? Uh, just that these were the two best teams. I think that's what everyone has seen in the last few years. These have been the two best teams. And uh, you know, if you weren't on one of these two teams, you were hopeful uh, that you, you know. Deep down, you knew you probably were going to be here. And so I'm um, excited it's worked out that I get to be here. When you got to Cleveland, was that when you first saw it? It's a real possibility to get, get to this level? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, uh, having lost to in Cleveland the last couple of years, so, you know, obviously it was strange in the beginning coming here and being on this team. Um, but, you know, yeah, you, you definitely, well, then we started losing games. I wasn't sure. <laughs> we weren't playing defense for about two months. But, um, I think we all, deep down, we, we all we all believe that when, when the time is right, when the guys would turn it on and, and they have to. Um, oh, he's the best. I mean, he uh, he he's the best player, but he also he really cares about the team. He knows he needs the team to play well for him to win championships, and he goes out of his way to check on everyone, to make sure everyone's right, uh, to do his best to help everyone be there. Um, the way he prepared, there's a lot of guys who, you know, say all the right things, but they don't always work very hard. There's a lot of guys who work hard, but they don't really say much. And he has been the absolute best I've ever been around as far as doing both. He is the leader of his team. Um, you know, he's, he's for everyone, uh, he's saying all the right things, but he's also our hardest worker, and uh, I've been really impressed with him. Can you discuss how he, he's encouraging you to shoot you get the ball? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the first thing he told me. He's like, you get the ball, just shoot it. If you're, if you're open at all, just shoot it. I don't care if you miss it, I just want you to shoot it. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously to have the, you know, to have that guy uh, have confidence in you like that just helps you out. Can you give me some three-point shooting advice? Three-point shooting advice for you? Yes. Can you shoot that heavy ball yet? Nope. Nope. The regular one. The regular one. Uh, <laughs> use your legs. It's all on your legs. Got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what else? I mean, there's a lot of a lot of them. Yeah, these these guys are so good and they do a lot of things so well. I think you know, limiting their runs is, is really important. Um, the transition is really huge. Not letting them get out, and, uh, knock down threes, uh, protecting that that line is going to be big for us. You know, I think so. I think not turning the ball over, taking good shots, hopefully shooting a, a good percentage just so they can't run out quite as much. Um, it's going to be really important. Uh, you know, it probably took me a, you know, I don't know, uh, about a month, probably before I felt like I was playing well. Um, you know, I think uh, what 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 they were trying to add with me was just a lot of motion and a lot of uh, kind of create some more some more energy out there. And this is a team that's it, it been kind of playing a lot of one on one and pick and roll, and so. Um, it took a while for both for me and the team to kind of mesh together, because uh, it, it to have good you know ball movement, to have good motion offense, it takes all five guys to be to be in chemistry. And so if you haven't done it, it just takes a while. We didn't have a lot of practice time. I think I played three games before I even had a shoot around. You know, so uh, it took a little bit of time, um, but that's what happens when you get traded in the middle of the season. Do you Where? expect to get nervous as the game approaches tomorrow, or at this point in your career, are you kind of past nerves? Uh, Nervous for sure. I think everyone's going to be nervous. Come on, man. It's good though. If I'm not a little nervous, I don't feel like I ever play very well. Um, 
but I think you know part of the challenge is being able to to relax. And, um, so but it's easier said than done. Where were you watching uh, the finals in Game Seven? Because I know you weren't on the Cavs until this year. So where were you watching it? I was watching. Uh, I was living in California. I live in California off season. What? What? And uh, I was on the couch watching Game Seven. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, bad answer. Hey, Kyle, what's the most excited or eager you ever remember being to watch a sporting event, either as a kid or as an adult? Wow, oh, good question. Um, you know, I think uh, I remember when I was very young and uh, the Lakers and the Bulls were in the finals. And I was driving back from like a summer camp, and I didn't have we didn't have TV, so we were like trying to get this little radio to work on the back of this bus, like trying to turn the antenna, you know, because that's what we had back then, right? So we're like driving in this big bus back to you know, Paramount, California, trying to turn the antennas in the car, or driving to the mountains just to listen to the game. Uh, that was probably the most excited I was for. Other guys have mentioned other NBA series like Jordan's Bulls and so forth. Does it, is it kind of amazing to you to be part of a series now that people are sort of talking about in the same breath as some of those great matches? Yeah, you know, I think just I think for me, just to finally be in the finals after all these years, uh, I don't think I've fully it's fully sunk in yet. Uh, you know, but uh, my my season has ended in heartbreak a lot of years. You know, hey. 